boys and girls. How am I looking today? Am I looking trim? I've been walking every day. Lots of slimming looks. Ooh, I hope you're getting outside and getting some exercise and good vitamin D out there. So let's take a look at our morning message. Boys and girls, our letter is G. So number one. G, G, G. Whoop. G, G. G, started at the top. Big curve, bring it up and across. Let me write that again there. There we go. So, so nice, she did it twice. G. Now our lower, oh, Miss Bell, I just thought of some <gasps> other G word. We have someone's name that starts with a G. Miss Gracie. It's Miss Gracie. <laughs> representing the kitchen. <laughs> and the lowercase G is a little curve. Bring it up like a letter A and bounce it down and it curves up towards the, the little curve. Oh, it looks like a hook. It does. Now, we use the capital G for Miss Gracie because her, her name is a name. And it it's always a starts noun. with a cap. Mm -hmm. Yes, it starts with a capital letter. But the word go is a, an action word. So we're gonna use a lowercase g unless it's the beginning of a sentence. So our next thing, number two. Two ding, dots. Ding, ding, ding. Is go. G, O, go. Number three. <laughs> Very informative, Miss Vicky. Two dots. We're still talking about transportation, but today we're going to talk about land, moving on land. So let's write down land. L A N D. Now, there's different things that go on land. A car, we drive a car on land. Mm -hmm. We drive a bicycle on land. We walk on land. We don't float up in the air, do we? No. No. We wouldn't take a, a boat and drive it on the street, would we? No. No. Uh, some other things. Trains. They're on the land. They don't fly in the sky. Mm -hmm. They don't go in the water. Mm -hmm. So, boys and girls, one form of transportation is by land. Good job, Miss Vicki. Thank you for that information. <laughs> and cut.